Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday Favorites. Today I actually have quite the assortment of products to share with you. And one of the products actually is a favorite and a fail all in one. <laughs> if that could even be possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me start with my food favorites that I discovered this week. And what I have to show you is the empty packages of these because they're empty because me and my family ate them all. First is the Pop Chips Nutter Puffs puffed snack with real peanut butter. They look like this. You can see what the little product looks like. Just kind of like about that big yeah actually that's about actual size on there so i got these at target and these are good these are delicious i think you can have how many points are you i had to scan it with my weight watchers thing because i couldn't remember <laughs> but you can have 20 pieces for four points of these and or you can have one ounce for 130 calories. It does have five grams of protein, two grams of fiber. And these are not, I'll be quite blunt in here. These are not the most amazing things I've ever tasted in my life. But if you're like me and you are obsessed with the taste of peanut butter or just peanut butter in general, and you don't want to binge on a whole jar of peanut butter or most of the jar, these are something really fantastic to have around because they give you that peanut butter satisfaction without breaking the bank or the calorie bank or the point bank if you're on Weight Watchers. So I think these are really good to have around. What I'm going to do next time is because I had probably more than one portion because I was just eating them out of the bag because I was trying to sample them and taste them. I probably had more than a portion so I'm going to portion them out into little Ziploc bags next time I buy these. and. That way I can eat one portion at a time. So love those and we'll, we'll be repurchasing. And then next are these Skinny Pop Puffs. Cinnamon and sugar puffs. Y'all, these taste like churros. Like a churro that you would get at, do you get, where do you get those? I don't know. I remember them from school lunch back in high school. <laughs> I love like taco day or was it taco bar day because they had churros and it was so delicious you can probably get them at taco john's or somewhere like that but they taste like churros and you can have one and one half cups for four points or one and one half cups for 130 calories are these going to be the most healthy foods raw from the earth pure organic no of course not but if you're like me and you need a little something to get you through I've talked about this before you eat your lean your lean meats you eat your eggs you eat you know your Greek yogurt as your core zero point Weight Watchers foods if you're on WW or Weight Watchers and then you just got to add in something to to make it real life to make it sustainable because you're not gonna never eat anything like this again that's ridiculous so that's what I love. And don't think that I'm eating stuff like this all day long when I show you like a snack type food. Because I'm not. I wish I was. But I work it in. Like I just had an egg or two hard boiled eggs. And I had a built bar with it because I love built bars. But I don't eat them for every meal all day long. Also speaking of built bars, I haven't personally tried them. But I ordered them and they're on the way. They did launch a new flavor which is the strawberry flavor. So I will leave my discount code for those below. You can get 10% off a full box. And I'm so excited to try the strawberries because I've heard just nothing but amazing things. And you guys know that I love Bill Bars. My next favorites are a few products by this brand called Farmhouse Fresh. And they did send me a nice little package of goodies to test out. And I just want to, before I get into the specific products that I love, I want to just show you the little card they sent so you guys can know a little bit more about the company. It says, Sarah, please enjoy this collection of body products from Farmhouse Fresh. Small batch, ranch crafted and locally sourced with European flair. So I think that's a great way, a lot better way to explain it than what I can word vomit to you. But my first favorite from what they sent me is this Farmhouse Fresh Coconut Cream Shea Butter for body so it's basically just a lotion like a body lotion and it's very 
it's the perfect amount of thickness. Is that focusing? The perfect amount of thickness. It absorbs really fast. Smells absolutely delicious. And it comes in this really nice and luxurious glass little pump jar here. And it looks really cute on my, van my sink vanity, which is where I keep it right next to the sink. And I don't... I guess I don't know what coconut cream smells like, but this was this would probably smell like coconut cream. It just smells sweet and yummy. Like yummy is the word I want to use to describe this, but it's very luxurious and it really does like melt into your skin and the scent lingers and it's so pleasant to smell. I actually don't wear a perfume when I have this lotion on because you don't need both. This one lingers quite a bit. It, when I think of coconut, the smell of coconut, I, I think of like the Butter Bronzer by Physician's Formula, and it doesn't smell like pina colada -y. it just smells like sweet and yummy and delicious. <laughs> I think this would make a wonderful gift, so definitely check out Farmhouse Fresh. My other favorite, I don't have to show you, because it is a hand cream that I've been using throughout the day. It is downstairs in my one of my side tables because I use it so often I just keep it down there and yeah I just love this I'm excited to test out some more products by this brand so definitely give them um, check them out for sure because I've been super impressed all right my next favorite is like a tech type YouTube filming favorite it's kind of random but I really wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you guys do create videos yourself and this might be helpful. So this is the, my favorite is the tripod that I'm filming on right now. So it is a desk tripod. It's sitting up here on my tabletop that I have. And it is this, this is the box that it came in. So it is the Diva Ring Light is the brand mini desk tripod. So that's exactly what it is. And I don't have a ring light anymore because I sold mine when I thought that I was not doing YouTube anymore, so I sold it. So I don't have it, but you can actually put a Diva ring light on this tripod and your camera. If you do YouTube videos and you just need a small tripod that is super sturdy and durable and doesn't take up a whole lot of space and will actually house your camera and your ring light, Diva ring light brand, um, check this one out. It was only, I think it was $59.95 and DVE store is where I purchased it from and they just have the best customer service on point. My beauty dishes that I have here um, were part of a light set that I got years ago, like when I first got into YouTube. I'm still using them. They're still working amazingly. And last, I think this is last is a product that is a favorite. The product itself is a favorite, but the color and the color selection is kind of a fail, which is really weird. Um, but it is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. So it looks like this. I used this in a Get Ready With Me video that I did like a month or so ago. And so on one side it has this micro blade type part and it's just like a liquid eyeliner. You kind of just draw on like that. And the other side is a pencil. So it's just a very thin little pencil that kind of reminds me of Anastasia Browiz, like the original Browiz, and just draws a really nice fine line. So the color that I have is Taupe Trap, and I'm wearing the brow blade part today. I love it. I think it really does mimic a microbladed brow. I have worn this product for a few days at a time and I've just washed my face like around the brows and kept it on for I think up to three days is the longest and then I needed it kind of started to get crumbly and I just wanted to redo it but like with the lash extensions and the brows being on all the time I feel like a million bucks. I feel like I'm always presentable and if I could just get rid of my dark circles naturally that'd be great but they don't have a product for that, I don't think, without using concealer. But anyway, the pencil is great. I actually prefer it, the formula of it, over the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I love the Brow Wiz. However, this product is amazing. However, the colors suck. Like the taupe color, taupe trap, it just pulls 
really orangey and almost a green tint on me and this is the lightest color they have so you can't I can't even go lighter and it's fairly dark on me um today I have part of this product on because I the only way I can get it to work for me to where I actually like the look on my brows is to use my Anastasia brow definer which is this is like an all-time favorite like every single year this will be a favorite and it looks like that and this just draws like a tiny little line it can draw a tiny little line or a thicker one depending on like what side you put it on so what I did today is I just filled in my brows with the Anastasia taupe blended it out with the spoolie which is another downside of this product is the spoolie it doesn't have a spoolie <laughs> and then what I did is I went in with this and I kind of just drew on some hair some brow hairs so it looks more natural like that's all drawn on and if you guys follow me on Instagram you've seen me multiple like I'm always on there with no brows on I feel like my brows are there but they're just kind of sparse and very light so you can't really see them too much and I feel like this truly does give a look I'm getting like way up in your business here a look of micro braid micro bladed brows I think it looks so good I just wish they had more colors to choose from I think they have seven colors all together so if you have darker hair in um I feel like they have and they did send this to me to test out and review I, I think they have seven colors and they're all dark. Like this is the lightest one. So they're all darker than this. And a lot of them pull the ones I've tried. I tried the next shade up and it just pulls dark and super red, orangey, orangey red. So I wish they had a better color because I, I would use this like every single day. I love it. And it does stay on. So I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try. I was gonna show you, but I don't need to because they're already on there. Let me know if you guys have tried this and even if you've just seen it in store and swatched it, like what do you think about it? I I don't know exactly which brand or product would have something like this, but I'm sure I know they're out there that has just the like felt tip liquid part so you can probably just find that and use whatever brow pencil you already have and love so that's my favorite and also a fail so i love the product i love the concept the fails are the color selection the color shades and also that it doesn't have a spoolie but let's be real how would you get a spoolie on a double-ended one like that <laughs> you could sell it with a spoolie brush that would be cool but there's that all right guys so those are my favorites and kind of a fail so I feel like I didn't have that many products to talk about this week, but I bet this video is still going to be long as per usual. So I just thank you guys so much for being here and for watching and commenting. I just am so happy to be back on YouTube. I, I feel like I say that in every single video, but truly it has been such a such an amazing thing to come back and to have you guys here support me and just the community and like the relationships that I've formed with you guys whether it's here on YouTube or on Instagram um, I direct message with a lot of you guys back and forth and I just love it um, with my hip surgery recovery and I don't think I said it on YouTube but I do have I did have hip surgery on in December and I was recovering very well and then now I have tendinitis which is basically just like the tendons are really pissed off they're really aggravated and it's very very painful it's almost as painful as like the first couple weeks of post-surgery so i've been back on one crutch um and so i haven't been able to be active and do stuff like my physical therapy is basically just stretching and that's it i haven't been able to progress basically i've what's the opposite of progress i've degressed i don't know what the word is for that but anyway and it's been really it's been really hard um, to get really deep here. It's been really, really hard and it's been depressing. So I'm so thankful to have you guys here, to have this community that I can kind of escape to and just share about kind of random beauty stuff, food stuff, weight loss stuff. It's just been a really great outlet for me and I just sincerely appreciate each and every one of you watching. So thank you so much. 
Sorry, I don't mean to be super cheesy or whatever, but it's just how I feel. Oh, I also wanted to let you guys know that there will be a monthly favorites video. So that will be up. It might be up next or coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.